happy 2015, my lovelies. And welcome to the first Coach Punky Pixie motivational video of the new year. I know it's already February and unfortunately, I've let my ADD get the best of me and I'm all over the place. But hey, that's just me. If you don't like it, oh well, deal with it. One of my resolutions for the new year is to get more organized and to make more videos. And my second resolution is to finally learn Spanish already. I'm gonna do it this time. I know I am. <laughs> Anyways, before I go too far off topic today, I wanted to tell you about this amazing sermon that I heard the other day. Um, it was a few weeks ago actually, and it has me so inspired. I wish I knew who delivered the sermon, but I was listening to the Joel Osteen satellite radio station on the way home from work, and it was amazing. This dude was talking about how in the game of checkers, when you reach the other side, you say to your opponent, king me. Once they have kinged you, all limits are removed from you. You are all powerful and you can move in any direction you want. That got me thinking about the phrase, king me. It's such a powerful phrase, king me. So simple, just two words, six letters, but it feels so good to say it. I mean, try it, king me, king me. Just playing checkers, you feel so powerful and so victorious when you say it. Can you imagine if we said that to the world every day when we woke up? Like no matter what happened the day before, or no matter how sick or how tired you feel in the morning, you declared to the world, king me. If you started the day out with that victorious attitude and the confidence of knowing that the game of life is yours for the taking, and you can move in any direction you want. You already fought some battles in life and you got all the way to the other side and you're still alive. Now you can reap the benefits. All those hard times you fought in the past, they were all to get you to this point, the point where you rule. You are a king or a queen if you prefer. <laughs> I know some of my friends are probably thinking, oh girl, you know I'm a queen. Whatever you prefer to call yourself. You are royalty. It's passed down through the generations for a couple of reasons. If you look at it from the Judeo-Christian perspective, then you'll see that our heavenly father is a king. So just by that alone, that makes us royalty royalty just by being a child of God. If you look at it in the grand scheme of things, no matter who you are or what you believe in, most religions or philosophies believe in some sort of creator of the universe. The creator made us all and we're all connected. Since we're all connected and we're all made of the same stuff that makes each one of us royalty, the creator of the universe lives inside each one of us. Since we have the divine living inside each one of us, we have greatness inside of us. You have a greatness inside of you. You have a talent inside you that is unique and a special gift that no one else has. You have passion and wisdom and creativity. You have gifts that you need to share with the world. So go out there and make the most of your gifts. King me. I challenge you to think about some questions. What would you pursue if you were king? If you knew that you could achieve anything without failure and the world is at your command. Find out what you're passionate about and go out and pursue it. Go out and make your dreams happen. Don't be afraid to tell the world, king me. Everybody's not always gonna like you. Everybody's not gonna agree with you or see your vision. People might criticize you or stand in your way. But when you're a king, nothing can get in your way. So just ignore the critics and do what you think is best for you because you are a king. As Mel Brooks said, it's good to be the king. When you're royalty, you can reach your dreams and live the life you want to live. 
all you gotta do is believe. Believe you are a king and make a move. Remember, in checkers, you had to make a lot of moves and take a lot of risks to get to the other side. Don't be afraid to make some bold moves because it'll all pay off in the end because you are a king. What moves are you gonna make today? 2015 is the start of a new year. It's a clean slate. It's not gonna be like every other year. You can now break through, break out of your old habits and burst into your destiny. You can spring forth into the best season of your life. It'll be the best year you've ever had so far. You are a king, so go out and claim your throne already. King me. Well, that's all for today, because I gotta get ready for work. Don't forget to like and share my video, and subscribe to my channel. Ta-ta for now, my lovelies. Have a great day.